Divorce is not optimal. Is it inevitable? Is it allowable? Well, it has to be allowable, I suppose, within the confines of human frailty. But, you know, often the problem with getting divorced is, well, you had problems in your marriage. Well, it was the other person. It's like, <laughs> if you think it was the other person, then you're probably the problem. I say that knowing that now and then people get tangled up with someone who, who can't be negotiated with. And I suppose the analog to that in broader society would be someone who's criminal or narcissistic or psychopathic. It's like you, you do encounter people who are beyond the pale in terms of negotiation, and that can be a real catastrophe. But if it's just ordinary frailty and stupidity, the problem with getting divorced is you're going to bring your ordinary frailty and stupidity right to the next relationship. Because you haven't dealt with the issues. And the data on that are pretty clear too, because second marriages are statistically more likely to fail than first marriages. This isn't obvious that you learned. And so you might be shackled to this imbecile and, you know, dragging him or her behind you like a dead weight. It's like, well, first of all, it's not so clear who's the dead weight. And second, what makes you think that you won't do or encounter exactly the same thing the next time? 